Hello and welcome back to this episode of Timeless Thursdays Hidden Gems, where on this channel on Thursdays, I put up a video which is like a throwback uh, and find something that you may have forgotten about or yeah, maybe I've forgotten about too. Um, a video out of our, I think we've got about 1,600 videos in our archive and we'd like to share them again with you, right? And at this time of year, we are now in late August of 2024. In the garden, there, there are a lot of tomatoes. Um, more tomatoes, actually, um, the, the, the we can eat and they're really, really tasty. So there are a number of things that we do with them. The main one is um, turning those tomatoes into really lovely uh, tomato sauce that we can use during the winter um, to put with things like, I don't know, bolognese, or maybe just have tomato sauce on its own with spaghetti. You know, you know what I mean? But um, back in 2022, Tamara had this thing about sun-dried tomatoes. She was going to the store buying them, you know, the, the, the nice tomatoes that come in an oil. And she had this thing about making her own. So we're going to go and fly back now to 2022, about this time of year, and Tamara making her sun-dried tomatoes. I hope you enjoy this and if you do just um, give us a subscribe uh, give us a thumbs up and um, press the notification bell so that whenever we make any of our sunday or thursday videos you get to know about it first so what's in these glasses first uh sun dried tomatoes these are ones you've done yourself yes how difficult was it uh not difficult Lots of these actually turn black, they oxidize, so I throw them out. And you just left these out into our sun? Yes, for five days. For five days? Yeah. At night you have to put them back in the... In I the don't house. want to eat them because it's, it's, it's such so much work. And then they I go down... That's why they're so expensive. Yeah. And we'll make them in olive oil. So what are you going to do today with them? Today we blanch them for five minutes in uh, water and uh, half a cup of apple vinegar. So One liter of water. No more cold water. Yes, you bring to boil, then you add half a cup apple cider vinegar. Come on, do, do it. Sirce. Sirce? Sirce. No, sirce. Sirce. <laughs> sirce. Now I know why they're so expensive. But they look really nice. From uh, two kilos, you get about 200 grams. 200 grams from two kilos? Yeah. Wow. And were these just normal tomatoes or cherry tomatoes? Or? cherry tomatoes. All cherries. Because we don't want to we don't know what to do with them for winter. So. You're a creative girl aren't you? Yeah I've seen this one Italiano guy doing it and I love it and it's good on a bread or you can make pasta with it. Nice. But you have to boil them in the vinegar to preserve them for longer. Half a cup of apple cider vinegar. Citra. Citra. Yes? Citra. I got that right. There's the bubbling water. And this is, you said to blanch them. Yeah, five minutes. Mm -hmm. You were getting annoyed at one point though, weren't you? Because some of them turned black. Yeah, I threw them out. Maybe they haven't been healthy in the first place. Uh -huh. So how, how long did they sit in here, did you say? Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes is up. So skim down. Tam says that's the better way to do it. 
So we'll take these to my office because it's, I think, a better environment, yeah? No, they should dry for a few hours and then we'll finish them off. Okay. In olive oil, spices. There we go, somewhere safe. Away from the flies. In David's office. How cool. Are you happy with this? I think I overboil them. Uh, five minutes is okay if you're using Roma tomatoes or um, pellet. But next okay. time I'll just blanch them for a few seconds and that's it. Now it's time to put these guys in a jar. They look dry enough. Yeah, I think they are. Okay. This is my first time making this. So don't judge me. So, Daska. So what's the procedure then? So you layer it now. So a layer of dried tomato. Malo dried tomato, malo spices, and then again, and then we forgot the main thing. The main ingredient, I hope I have enough. Carapelli oil, extra virgin. Let's start. I have two different kinds, these are more skinny, so I'm going to mix them up. How many jars can we make from all this? <laughs> Not many, trust me. But we make different flavors. This is garlic. Garlic now. And the first one is... Bay leaf? No bay leaf. Basil. Puzzle. Mm -hmm. Okay, now more tomatoes. So it's layer upon layer. Mother. You do however you want. Mm -hmm. Smells really nice actually. They should taste. Here you go, Garlic. You know I like garlic. I could live on garlic. This is a lot of work, but it's worth it. You see, they taste amazing. Oh, Thank you. 
Już mało. To je to, myslím. Ano. Stavíme mu ještě jeden nůžek. Dozgo. A sad na ovoj filer a přidal do něj. You have to cover it. Gotta get all the hair out. Look at the bubbles coming out. After drying for five days, we got this sun-dried tomatoes in olive oil. Yay! You happy? I'm very happy. After five days, we got this. <laughs> Beautiful. A very happy Tamara, I can tell you, uh, when she made those. She has made them since, but to be honest with you and totally transparent, it's a shed load of work. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, timeless Thursday hidden gem and uh, that you'll come back on Sunday to watch the normal video and also next Thursday to see what else we find in our archive. Please, as I say, do share, subscribe and like uh, the video. It does help the algorithm. And then if the algorithm works properly, then we might be able to get something uh, from the monetization that we have with YouTube, which helps us because I'm on a pension on my own and it helps to, you know, subsidize that in a way, add to it so we can have the occasional luxury. But you can do that just by subscribing, sharing and liking and Vidimus Opet, which means I'll see you again soon either on Sunday or on Thursday. Bye for now.